Hi, welcome back to Genesis Custom Sabers. This is just a quick rundown of the uh, functionality of uh, this new saber that I've just uh, finished. It's a custom saber that I worked on the design with a client. Um, it's based on uh, customized MHS parts with um, that have been powder coated and, uh, and adjusted and it's got my uh, trademarked crate bone technique for that grip in the middle. It's a very uh, sleek and, uh, and simple and elegant design. Um, really happy with how it turned out. Uh, but basically the operation is pretty straightforward as with any crystal focus uh, lightsaber. This is a uh, crystal focus version 5.1. Uh, the kill key uh, is removed to uncover the recharge port and also activates power to the saber. You hear a boot up sound, you see the bar graph activated showing that the battery is near full at this point. Um, the, uh, the blade, standard any standard one inch blade goes in there. Stainless steel blade retention screw. Um, that's the power button. This one's got a really cool feature in that it's got uh, machined windows showing the blade color. See, there's a, a cyan color blade that's uh, accomplished by uh, a tri rebel. Uh, so the R and blue, uh, R and B are mixed, and then the uh, the red die is the flash on clash. Uh, Nova Star's rain sizzle font that was specially requested for the saber. Um, so that's how that basically operates. You've got your auxiliary button. You can toggle through your menu with that. You hold it down. Get access to the menu. Shatter point. You go to a different font like Shatter Point. This part is open. Loads up. It activates. So that's how uh, that's how this saber operates. Of course, each. Uh, each font's got a different uh, animation on the bar graph that are customized. And then when it's in idle mode, it goes back to the power level indicator. Um, basic operation goes like that. Uh, with this saber, with the kill key out, it is possible, like most, most of the sabers that I do that are Genesis Elite, to unscrew it. Now, this is the unscrew joint right there. So you want to you know, grip the saber firmly and then unscrew from this point. This is all locked in with set screws. So it shouldn't be able. It basically, for warranty purposes, I don't uh, permit the uh, the user to to unscrew any of these screws to uh, to you know uh, the rearrange the saber because everything's screwed in tightly and locked in so that uh, the wires won't twist or anything like that. So this can be safely removed, um, and that's allowable with uh, under warranty. Threads should be kept clean. Shouldn't need any lubrication on them because I've already lubricated them just with a small amount. But as long as they're kept clean. And when you remove that part of the saber, you can see you get access to the, the crystal focus. Of course, uh, with the tri rebel, you need a really beefy resistor in order to protect the the one die that's standing on its own for flash on clash. So I've got a good beefy resistor there to dissipate the heat. Um, and of course, uh, if I want to get access to the SD card, I put the kill key in, shutting off power to the saber. And then I can uh, use the magic implement, which is let me find it here. Yes, the pencil and the eraser are the perfect tool to press in, pop out the SD card. I can remove that, put it in a, an adapter, plug it into my computer, change the fonts, the parameters, that kinds of thing. Uh, so that's the operation of this saber. Pull the kill key out, get a boot sound saying that it's cro uh, correctly formatted and ready to go. Um, saber body screws in again. And that is how to uh, operate the saber. Now, if you find out this one screwed a little tight so that you get it to line up, um, it, it is possible if this, for whatever reason, comes out of alignment and the recharge port and the bar graph don't line up, it is possible to unscrew the body of the saber and just slightly adjust the PVC chassis in there. It will move a little bit. Um, should, shouldn't need any movement ever. If it ever does, it's just very, very slight. But it is adaptable so that these can always line up. So there you go. I hope the uh, the client likes the new saber. Thanks for watching.